everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So we're putting the finishing touches on March, aren't we? Um, I have such a busy week this week. It's Monday. Um, I don't even want to think about it. So I'm just going to escape into stamping for a little bit and then I will face the giant to-do list that is my week. I, it's so incredibly large. I'm not even quite sure how I'm going to get through it, but we'll just chunk away at it. So um, I don't know about you, but when that happens to me, it's nice to just be able to escape into a little bit of creativity, right? So um, I have no online classes to announce. Um, if you're watching this today and it's Monday, it's the last day that you can register for just the video portion if you wanna do my spring retreat. And then um, at some point this week, I will show you what my April card club will entail. And I don't think that I'm probably going to have any other online classes that take place in April. Um, there's one I'm kind of tossing around. But when I look at my schedule, I just don't know that I can fit anything else in besides card club. So join my card club. It's tons of fun. That'll get your stamping in. Um, I will open registration for Try It, but that doesn't take place until May. And with the new with the new catalog, um, so it's a light stamping month for y'all if you do my glasses because I am so busy. I don't know that I can get anything else in but card club. But you're gonna get your new catalog, so um, those I will start shipping those out maybe next week. So if you purchase from me in March, you're on the first batch of people that will get them. And then if you don't purchase from me, if, you, if you're if you in Card Club and you purchase, make a purchase in March, you're going to get them first. Sometimes I try to do them double duty and try to get both of your things mailed at the same time. Everybody who purchased from me in March, I'll get my catalogs next week. And then depending on how my week goes, um, I'll either get them in the mail. Uh, my goal is to get them in the mail by a week from this coming Saturday. Um so if you're in my email list, I have it all laid out. Then Card Club, that's part of the reason I can't do another class is because I have a lot of catalogs to mail out. So everybody, y'all should have them if you purchase from me by mid-April. Um, mid, like around the 20, 21st, 25th is my goal. Um, so there's that. <laughs> So the new catalogs are coming. So lots of spring stamping. So um, if you missed this tutorial, it's the flowering rain boots. Super fun. I, um, like I said, escape into stamping for a little bit just to get my mind off of the crazy to-do list that I have going on. So today I'm going to use the Honey Bee Home. I'm also going to use, if you were in Card Club, you know we use the Abstract Beauty. And I love those dies. Love the dies. The dies are carrying over. The paper is not. But the um, the dies are carrying over into the new um, catalog. This catalog goes till June. Whoops, goes till June though. So I love this. Love the flowers. Love the dies. Love the bees. Love the font. Love so much about it. But I do love that it matches so well. Oh, I'm spilling those all over the place. And I literally just cleaned up my office. My husband helped me on Saturday. We took everything out that was retiring. Everything. So it's a little sparse. It's a little messy. It's not as messy as it was. But we got all the retiring stuff out of here for the most part. This mini goes till June. So it's a little confusing these days because it didn't used to overlap like that. So the annual catalog retires end of April. Um, there's a lot of stuff on sale. This one retires the end of June. But some of this stuff carries over. Once you have your catalog, you'll be able to see which of this goes over. I can kind of tell you from what I remember. I haven't really looked at the new catalog yet because I'm waiting for my paper copy. Kind of looked at it. Um... A little bit with my girlfriends on a zoom call because we're all so busy that we couldn't even get together last week so there's that so um this is kind of a super sweet so i have used it happens to be laying here on the table not because i pulled it out i used this when we very first got this this was on tour we have on tour coming up um uh, maybe it was on stage um, this was a set that we got last year and this was heart and home. So this is one of those, um, super sweets where a ton of stuff comes in it. So this is the blessings of home bundle. And I made this for a wedding card for a wedding we went to last fall. Today, I'm going to use the honey bee home. That's part of it. So it all matches, but I'm not going to use these colors. So here is the blessings of home. Really, really pretty. And demonstrators got that last year. We don't know what we're getting this year. Um, 
Uh, I was going to say I'm patiently waiting. I am not patiently waiting. I'm impatiently waiting. Not so much for my stamps, but for my catalog. Um, so I'm going to use the Honey Bee Home. So you can see it's really pretty. Let's, and But it does go with the Abstract Beauty dies. Embellishments everywhere. I'm working on filming my retreat videos. So here's the Hive video. And then here's the Abstract Beauty. And you're going to see me use them in just a second. Um dies. So if you were to try it, you got these. I've, I've used them in several classes because a lot of times you get the dies in the classes. And then in my retreat right now, it's specialty paper. So we used the craft paper again and I forgot how much I love this. And it is a carryover. So it is in the annual catalog. I'm going to do this first just so I can get this out of the way. This is one of those cards when I put it together. It was kind of mishmashy because I did it yesterday. So yesterday we finished up retired stuff. I transplanted my tomatoes. I worked on recipe cards for my shower. I pulled down all my St. Patrick's Day stuff and put up Easter stuff. And then in the midst of it, I'm like, I need to stamp. I need to have a card ready to film on Monday morning because I got to take my dad to the doctor in just a little bit. Um, so when I did this, it was kind of scatterbrained. So there's not a great order. But look how fun this is. So this way it kind of looks like bubble wrap and then this way it looks like a beehive so we do that my bee my bees are safely still in the refrigerator because <laughs> our bees that we have for our backyard can't be put out until it is until we have some flowers to make them stay in the yard and nothing is flowering here our magnolia tree did flower it looked beautiful for about one day and then it was like 27 and it killed them all. So now we have a bunch of dead blooms. It happens every single year. So I have some black cardstock. And then with this, here, this is shimmery white, my very favorite. So what I want to do is I want to put all of these on here and I'm gonna stamp these after I run them out, run them through. So this is why it's a little bit, cause I did, when I was designing the cart, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna use all four of these. Now these dies are designed that you can obviously have big hives or hexagons, or you can do them like this and it creates frames. For this one, I'm just gonna do the big pieces cause I need them. And then this set also has fun flowers and some leaves. This also kind of looks like it's a corn thing cause we put away all of my retiring dies and I thought, oh, that looks like it came from the chicks. So I need all these. And then there are two bees <laughs> that I'm gonna stamp and punch out. So it must be these three things. The rest of it, I'm gonna stamp afterwards. This is the part when I was making the card, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do. So let's grab the stamps. So these little flowers here, I think I left them on the blocks. It doesn't take quite a half a sheet of this, but for the video, I'm just gonna do a half sheet. So these fun little flowers here. It's a very wispy set. And then this bee here. See what I mean, wispy? It will, when you color it in, it kind of, not there. Must be this little bee. There's three or four bees that come in this set, three. Let's put him here. So I'm going to run all these th things through the die. You don't need to see me do that because you've all die cut before. If you haven't, then go watch one of my die cutting videos. Okay, so I've run those all through. Super easy. And um, there are dies that I didn't use because there's dies for the flowers that um, I didn't cut it, that I haven't stamped yet. And there's a die for the bee that I haven't stamped yet. So there's more dies in the set and I didn't use them all. Pull them all out. I could have done this. Let me fast forward this part too. Okay, now we have these. So we're gonna arrange them here and then we're gonna um, stamp on some. This one right here, I'm gonna just add things too so we don't need to stamp. So to color them in, I'm gonna do one of my old standby favorites or I'm gonna use the Winka Stella. Now I just told you that my husband and I got rid of all of the stuff that's to be retired from my office. Um, and one of the reasons is, is because 
I'm going to be pre-ordering this week because demonstrators can pre-order. We can't get everything, um, but we will be able to pre-order some stuff. Um, but part of it's because my April's so busy that this was one of the only weekends that I was going to be able to have his help. And he, he is a really big helper with like finding all the, the dyes, especially because it's, I store mine, not in their cases. Um, but the only thing I didn't pull out way, because I'll know, are the end colors that are retiring. Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider, I know are not the two most popular. I love them because I love the colors of fall. Those are my colors. So I'm going to use a Wink of Stella and I'm going to color it with these because if you're going to color the bumblebees, you want bumblebee, right? So we're going to start with the lightest color, which is probably papaya, but I'm going to start with bumblebee because I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use my Wink of Stella to paint with. So just grab a little bit of this and then I'm just going to swish through my little bee guys they're super cute little bees too i guess you know what guys i forgot to steal and i know this happens because sometimes you tell me and sometimes i can hear myself doing it when i'm in a hurry i talk fast because i feel like i, I it's not like i know that I'm, I'm i do know that i'm doing it but i think sometimes i can get a lot done in a day but talking fast doesn't really help me get it done any faster. So let's stamp these. So let's start with this one. I think that I put all the images on the right blocks, but not that matched. Because like I said, when I created this, I didn't really know where I was going with it. So here's the best of luck. And then here's some of the flowers. And they could really go anywhere. This is just how I did them. So I'm going to recreate it because when I'm super busy like this, not feeling so creative. I still haven't done my paper pumpkin and I've had several of you ask about my alternative. I did open it, I got that far. Um, and then my cat has decided that he would like the little box as bed. So he's quite enjoyed the fact that I've opened it with all of the stuff inside of it. He just lays on all of it. It's all my things to do. So I'm gonna record um, retreat. And in between retreat videos, I have a few things that we'll post. See, so yeah, I've slowed down. I'm not talking quite as fast. This is my favorite bee in the set. Got that. And then these are my favorite flowers in the set. So I wanted them on the biggest one so I could get as many of them on there. Now this set has a, a tendency to catch edges. So when, if you catch edges and you're using one of the black pads, it, if you put your ink on like this and don't, put it on like that, then you're not going to get the ink all over the edge of your stamp because you're putting your ink on like that. Isn't that a beautiful stamp? Now I think that we have everything stamped. Now I can paint. So now let's go back to the bumblebee. I realized I wasn't going to be able to paint him because he wasn't stamped. So we'll get his little stripies. And I'm not quite sure. Again, this is art. I'm not quite sure. I think the bumblebee body is probably black. But if we got a bumblebee color, then we're going to go with that. So I have a very limited color palette for this. So I'm just going to hit the centers of these flowers. I don't even know what they are. I did. I know I told you I transplanted my mostly tomatoes. Because um, those are the ones that had grown the biggest. My peppers are doing very well, but I didn't transplant any of them. But we do have a lot of flowers growing this year as well. So I'm just going to hit those. I may have to come back with some bumblebee. But now let's go to papaya. It is an in color, but it's not retiring this year. You have another year left to use papaya. And this time we're going to hit most of the flowers. So I'm going to get a bunch of papaya on here. And then as it lightens up, that'll do our shading for us. So I'm just kind of wisp it on here. And as it gets lighter and lighter, then we'll just have some natural shading. And I'm not too worried about staying in the lines. This is a, it kind of reminds me this set of like, if you had time to just go out in the garden and do some garden sketches. I do not have time to do that. So that's not me. <laughs> Pull this one over here. 
And then this is one where you can really do the, let the colors fade. So there's a dark papaya. Now I'll do this one right next to it. It will get lighter. So for this, it's a nice idea to keep going flowers next to. You see they get lighter and lighter. So it looks like shading. And then this one right here was my darkest and then I barely have any color left on there. So that's my lightest. And then we'll come up here and hit these. And because I'm using so few colors, there's a little bit of it. Sometimes when you do the scrapey thing with your stamp pad, it can grab a fiber. That's what happened there. So it's not that my ink was wet. There was a little bit of a, there's one right there too, because it picks up a fiber. So I don't want to grab that with my Wink of Stella. I want to grab it with my scissors. I'll show you what I mean. See right here? Look, see, that's what it, it's not smearing your ink. It's because when I do my ink pad like that, but the last thing I want to do when I am doing a video for you guys is ink my edges and then have them stamp on my thing. So you can just look closely and if you have a fiber on there, then just pick it up. And that ink right there might be a little bit, I just colored a leaf. We'll just cover it up. So it looks pretty good for a papaya. And then we have cinnamon cider. And for it, this is a retiring color. So if you want it, and it's beautiful. It's the only color that we have that's like gingerbready or that medium brown. We don't have a lot of it. We have crumb cake, but it's pretty, it's a pretty muted brown. So I'm gonna do his little legs because I don't want to do them in black. Again, if we're thinking like we're just sitting out in the summer and in the garden and sketching, this is a nice color because you might not do real colors. Like if you were doing that um, off on your jungle cruise or something, then you'd want kind of real colors, but not um, I'm gonna hit the centers of these flowers with the cinnamon cider. This is a little bit different than I did my other one. And then he's got this little body right here that I did some bumblebee on, but I'm just gonna add a little bit so he's not all bumblebee. And then I'm gonna do the centers of these in cinnamon cider. And then let's move to Calypso Coral. I'm gonna get the middle of these just to brighten it up a little bit. Um, so I'm doing the centers of these in Calypso Coral. And again, as I get less and less, and I'm gonna come over here and kind of do these edges where the Stampin' Up! Artist has given us the little lines on our flowers. Hit those. And now I have a little bit less left on this. So now I can go back up, need a little bit more. So I'm not gonna, see here, that's where I put some refill. This is where it's squished my pad, so it's a little bit lighter. Try not to color some leaves, Sherry. It's a little bit high, harder to cover up the coral with the green. And because we're using the Wink of Stella, it's just beautiful. And just a little bit more over here. Like I want them to have color, but I want this card to kind of stay muted and beautiful. So now I'm gonna take, um, and as I clean this off, I'm gonna get my wings of my bees. Cause if they have any of these colors left, that that's okay to be on there. But I just want their wings to be glistening. Cause if you've ever looked at the bees out there, it's funny, once you have your own bees, I know I said they're in the refrigerator and some of you probably think that's weird. Our bees aren't, they're honey bees. They don't sting. They're pollinator bees. I guess they're not honey bees, they're pollinators. Um, but once you have them, cause you know, cats like to kill bees and I'm like, kids, don't kill our bees. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the papaya now because we have to color these and then we'll get the green. 
And then that way I'm not washing a lot of, wasting a lot of my Stella as I keep cleaning this because we've stayed with light colors. So I'm gonna lay these in here and see these little tips. Get the papaya on here and just dab where there is, or where there are flowers. So there's flowers on that one. I've already had demonstrators, because a lot of demonstrators take my class, ask what my first online class with the new catalog is going to be. So I haven't really had time to think about it. Like I said, I haven't really looked at the catalog, but there is a die. It's either on the, the front of the, I think it's on the, the cover that has, um, it's made me think of it because of sitting out and doing um, sketches. It has a die that does like notebook edges. So I really like that die. So that set, if there are no ordering issues with it, will probably be my first because I just love that die. But the nice thing with dies is like if you're in my card club, I know I will get the die as long as we can. I'm kind of hoping it's on pre-order. I'm cleaning this off again so I don't waste it. I would rather put my Stella on here. Now our last color is green. So let's grab some garden green. So if we can order that set, that may be, but I haven't really, really looked at it, but it's a beautiful floral gardeny kind of set. So let's just add a little bit of garden green here. Garden green used to be one of those colors that I just kind of thought was for Christmas. And then over time, I have fallen in love with it. Cause like you could do jade, or evergreen or something on here and it would just be a little bit too much. This is a nice nature green. Let's see if I can co cover up the papaya leaf that I covered, colored. See, I'm already, I already forgot for a, a mere fraction of a moment how much stuff I have to do today. Because if you love to color, you can get lost in this. So again, I'm gonna lay this in here Partly because if you lay it in here, the Wink of Stella doesn't soak into the stamp case pad as it would as much into your scrap paper here. So you don't waste it. And then I can just hold it up and get these last. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That gives us the illusion of what we're going for. We're almost done with this. And I'm not gonna talk faster, I promise. And just this one. And this one you can almost light in here. And press like that and get it started. There we go. Now you do wanna make sure that you've gotten all the ink off of this. So again, you can just brush it on here, clean it off. There's no sense in wasting all of the beautiful Stella. And as you can see, it comes clear, it's gone now. But don't just rub it on your scrap paper if you don't have to. Now, when I put this card together, this is cut a little bit smaller than four and a little bit smaller than five and a quarter because it was scrap from something else, another class obviously that I did. And so I mounted everything on here. And then when I put it on here, I knew that it had some overhang, it overhung too much. So I'm gonna start this time by putting it on here because I am adding some, a little bit of twine But now I'll know exactly where I can put it, but the twine's not gonna wrap around. Now the craft cardstock has kind of a life of its own. So kind of fold it this way and then make sure you have enough adhesive on here. In fact, if you wanna use Seal Plus, it's not overkill on this cardstock because it does, like I said, have a life of its own. So let's start with this one. Now the Honey Bee Charms are retiring and I would have put any on here, except we just recently used them at a class and at camp. So mine are completely gone. But if you have the, the honey, the bee charms, they would look fabulous on here. I would highly recommend putting them on. Look at that. So see now that you can go all the way to the edges because you're gonna kind of need to to put this on here. Let's 
Now this one, I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit and it lifts fine because like I said, the craft card stock, put that, you don't want it to overhang, but I do need it to go all the way to the edge to make the most use of my space. I'm gonna pull it up just a tad and until you press on the craft, you have time. Got that. Then let's put this one maybe right here. So see, it's that fun play with the beehive pattern that the abstract does, it, does for us. Now we've filled up all that space because we still have to get our flowers on there as well. some adhesive right here. Let's start with just our plain greenery right here. Because that can always just be in the background. You don't want to add too much of this because you don't want it to be sticky on top, but we're going to put that some twine there. And this can keep covering it up. And you can use glue or a glue dot. Now, if I can get that to stick. Yep, now see, look, there's nothing sticky anymore. It's just grabbed all of that. So now I'm gonna put my adhesive right here. This is for all of you that hate to tie ribbon. Put it kind of right here. And then I'm gonna take the linen thread. So if you're in card club, you have a whole spool of this because we got it this month. Put it here. And then I'm gonna <laughs> look at my, I have some green. Put it here and then kind of let it go as it goes because when it's been on the spool it kind of takes on some curly qualities so put it there and then we're going to curl back over here and then do it one more time so let it grab one more loop around a different flower i don't want it to go around the same one maybe around down here and then right there so you want to make sure it's grabbed in that adhesive. That'll help hold it there. And then don't worry, we're going to make it so it doesn't look messy right here. So grab a dimensional. And start with your B first. Oh, this is the wrong B. So this is the bottom B because of the direction that they're going. Oh no, this is the right one. Yeah, put it here and that's going to help hold all that in. Let me get your flowers. And I can't remember if I could get a large one on here if I needed to get the minis. No, I got a large one. So put that right there. And this is going to help hold a little bit more of it. So kind of pull that over. And then if you need a glue dot to pull any of this in, we'll mess with that in just a second. And then this is the other bee. It seems like I needed a mini with him. I have both of them laying here, but I've slept. Since then, no, I got it. And he goes here. Now with these here, I'm just gonna grab a glue dot. You could wind them around or just use your um, fine tip glue if you want as well. I'm just gonna add this right here. Kind of grab both of those. And then one more. And just kind of shove that under there. I don't want that flying up in the air, but that gives it the dimension. And then I'm going to use my champagne rhinestones. Um, you could use the, the black ones. You could use, um, if I hadn't put them up, <laughs> there were the um, in color ones that you could use. I'm going to use, give all of these ones here a center. Or if you have the bumblebee trinkets, you could put one of those here or there and not use that cutout bee. So many options. 
because if there is one thing Stampin' Up! gets does well at, it is the florals. So many styles from the modern to the trendy to the natural like this. So here's this one. I hope you can see all the shimmer. Let me see if I can get it so you can see it. Maybe I'll take it out. It's really sunny today. If I have a chance, I'll take it out and take a... It's really sunny and it's like 29, 30 degrees outside. Um, but sometimes if you get them in the sun and you can get a little Instagram shot of how pretty they are. All that shimmer. So spring's on the way, right? It is spring. It's... <laughs> It's here, I guess. It's just so cold in some parts of the world. So I will put everything that you need to make this card. Remember, if you order from me in March, then you're going to get that first set of catalogs sent out. So my March order people, because it's going to go with your thank you gifts. That's why they get them first, because the thank you gifts are always in the mail by the 10th of the following month. Um, so my husband's going to work on cutting your VIP Um projects while I'm on tour this weekend. So those will go out next weekend and uh, next week as soon as I have your catalogs, those will go out. Then my club girls will get them. Um, and the reason they'll go next is because I love my club girls and I can't interrupt getting club stuff together to do the mass mailing of catalogs. So your catalogs will go in with that. And then everybody else, if you've ordered from me since September of 2021, then you automatically get a catalog. If you've never gotten a catalog from a demonstrator before, your first one's always free. You don't, you just need to let me know that you want one and message me and give me your address. Everybody have a great day. I am going to go check some stuff off of my to-do list and hopefully your week is not as busy as mine. Have a great one. Bye.